The compatible parameter allows us to choose what other connectors this particular connector will be compatible with. What we have here is we got a dialog box that is opened up by clicking on it right under the compatible section. And when we do that, you're going to get a list of every other connector that you have inside your software system. Remember, the choices you have will be different than the ones in this tutorial. And we get to choose next to every single connector the choice between yes and no. If we say yes, it means that the PCAT connector is compatible with the PCAT connector. That means that PractiCAD will be able to attach two pieces of duct with the PCAT connector connection and it will not break duct line integrity. There will be no break in the duct line because it's what we call a compatible or legal connection. Now PractiCAD gives you the ability to state that a particular connection can be compatible not with just one connection but with multiple connections. For example, let's say we wanted the PCAT connector to be compatible with not just a PCAT connector but also with raw edge. We're going to say that it's compatible with PCAT and raw edge. Now the second you choose choices for yes, you will notice down in the window where it says default, we see a list of those two choices. And what Practicad is asking us to do is to select the default connection. And what that means is if we select PCAT connector, if we go to put a PCAT connector on the drawing and we grab another piece of duct and go to snap to it, that the duct we're holding should automatically adjust its connection to the same or default PCAT connector. However, if we decide to make an edit and we change it to another connection that's compatible, PractiCAD will accept it. If you change it to a connection that's not compatible, dependent upon the options you have in PractiCAD, PractiCAD might either break the duct line or change both connections. And we're gonna demonstrate that throughout this tutorial. So what we're gonna do is say that the PCAD connector is compatible with itself and it's compatible with raw edge. We've chosen the PCAT connector to be a default with itself, but we do still have the ability to change or edit a connection involving raw edge. And what we're gonna do here is press OK. Once we've set the compatible connector here, we can exit out, and now we're gonna go into our drawing space. Now what we're gonna do is draw a piece of duct on the drawing utilizing our PCAT connector. We're going to come into the fitting box and we're going to set it to be PCAD and PCAD and we're going to place this on the drawing. Now currently the appearance of the PCAD connector is that of a slip and drive. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come into the fitting bin. We're going to grab a fitting and you can see here that it's currently slip and drive. To make this even easier to spot we're going to change the connector in to TDC. And now what we're going to do is bring this duct and attach it to this duct. Now because TDC and the PCAT connector are not compatible, the second these two touch, you can see that PractiCAD automatically adjusts the connector in of this fitting to be a PCAT connector. It doesn't change the connector out, but it does change the connector that's attaching because that was the default. Now, if we were to switch this connector in to raw edge you'll notice that practicad does not change the connector pcat connector from this duct and the reason why is even though when you zoom in we have two different connectors we've said that those connectors are compatible and because of that we can make an edit we can even run a duct line check and when we run the duct line check, you can see that it's only marking the ends of the fitting. There is no break. That is an acceptable connection to PractiCAD because they're compatible. However, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on this duct here, and we're going to change the connector in to TDC. Notice when we do that, PractiCAD automatically changes this connection to TDC because inside allowances, we have TDC compatible with TDC. So the way it works is that we will not allow you to attach 
incompatible connectors, you can only attach connectors that you have stated will match with one another. And if you choose a variety of connectors, PracticCAD will choose the default connector first, but then allow you to edit to the other connectors you say are compatible. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the entire mechanism we just showed you will only work in this manner if in your ductwork options you have the allow incompatible connectors option unchecked. And we have separate tutorials on that, but to show you where it is, we're going to go into my library. And under ductwork libraries, you have the option here to allow incompatible connectors junction. This option we recommend to always keep unchecked. When it's unchecked, we're not allowed to have incompatible connectors. So PractiCAD's automatically going to change the connections as you snap duct to duct. And it will only allow you to edit connectors that are compatible. Otherwise, every time you make one connection change, PractiCAD's going to change the connection you're attaching to it to whatever the compatible connector is.